And so in your search for what you thought was the best schooling for your children, you sought out charter schools, right? I did. Okay. And so you even taught at a charter school. When? Uh, the one at the moment, you know, Academic Plus Charter. The moment I did. Why did you think charter school was better? Because we need to research our charter schools because they take the public school money and put it in charter schools. So you, you still pay taxes of the charter school. Have you looked at your property assessment bill? Okay, so anyway, uh, black parents, you know, like to feel like they're really doing something send their children to charter schools because that's the way they are marketed and they think that that's going to be the best place to mold this child's behavior and, and that they're going to be in an orderly environment. And so you wrote in the chapter, Dear Performing Art Magnet. You have been a complete disappointment to my daughter. We wanted to find a better option to tra traditional school. You trampled her creative energy, condemned her free spirit, and crushed her excitement. That was a eureka moment for you, and I, I'm glad you had that. And so you offered to homeschool your 13-year-old daughter, but you felt, but she felt like she was missing something, you know, from going to school. How has that worked out for you and for her? I want to say I want to I want to answer the question of the charter school. Uh, remember that when I started that journey, I had little to no information about which which road I needed to take that would change the course of direction. Traditionally, we went to uh, some website that told me what the best school in town was, and we would just go there and be at that school. And that was working for the situation as far as, you know, it, when it comes to the, the traditional academic setting, right? Um, step two, if that doesn't work, try this. And online, in whatever year that was, circa 2007, eight. That was what it was saying for me to do, which is also why this book is important is because there are so many options for education now. And we as black parents, I don't think know all of the options. And I think it is very important that we educate ourselves on the options for school. But like you said, even the fact that the money comes from out of the, the traditional school is pulling money from different resources. It's not necessarily doing what it's supposed to do. I thought at the time, the way they define charter, where they market it and define it, yes. It, it, it should have done what I needed, and that's why I went. When that didn't work, I did the magnet, which is the, the, the one you're talking about now. That didn't work. There's no design out there, if I was being truthful, that fits. For, school wasn't designed for us. They made school, and then they said, oh, y'all want to come here? We'll let y'all now at a point, right? Like for years, we pushed against you even being able to come here. It was never designed for us. So no, it doesn't work, it doesn't fit. It's not, it, it's not meant for us, right? The magnet school failed because, again, in the name, it says performing arts school. So my brain said, okay, this is perfect. She's always wanted to be an actress. She's like this and she does this. This school is gonna get her. All the kids here do that, right? They're all gonna be kind of, moving around all the time and wanting to dance and be the center of attention. And so they're gonna get her, she's not gonna get in trouble, so that's what she's getting in trouble for. She wants to, she won't sit still, and she must be ADHD. <laughs> she's not ADHD, she's just trying to act. She's trying to put on a show. You know, you know, she's just trying to put on a show. So when we got there, I thought that she would get the attention she needed because you said, bring your performing arts child here. It was still like regular school. It was just the name. It, they literally did. She got in trouble every day. I got a phone call, a text message. I was always in the office. It was all the same. It, it, it literally was not any different from any other school we had ever been to. Just the name. 
Well, with the section of it. Tell me, tell us, <laughs> tell us what one of them said. What was it? Um, she's doing cartwheels in the front. Of the show. <laughs> well, well, she wouldn't stop dancing. She wouldn't stop dancing. But she had dance class at like two o'clock in the afternoon. Maybe move her dance class. She, she wanted her to stop dancing in math, <laughs> which we gave her at. 8 a.m. Like she wants to dance right now. The dance class right there. Move the math class to whenever. Like what you know what I mean? Or integrate the math class to incorporate some dance. It's a full on art school. You have freedom. Do that. You can create a math class that's around about every single interest that a student may have. Figure out how to incorporate dance in your math, and then she, everyone in the situation would. Has anybody seen the video on Facebook of the instructor who <coughs> used rap music to teach his math class? Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. okay. I have. I saved it. Yeah. They showed a commercial TV. Of, of, ah, yeah. I didn't see that. It's, yeah. it's a commercial? It was a commercial uh, when he did it, and they showed a commercial. And, and uh, when I take that back, it wasn't commercial. It was on the news. Mm. It was on CNN News. They had him on there, and he was doing that. Uh, singing with them, I was like, wow, that's, that's good.